Mr. Martin Omega. Could I ask the Minister in relation to racist attacks in South Belfast over the last year in particular, and without moving the Minister into policing matters, can he give us a, uh, an assurance to the House that the police have the resources and the will to bring to book those who are responsible for those racist attacks uh, and for which thus far there have been no convictions? Well, certainly Mr Moyler raises a, a serious issue which uh, features in, you know, in a number of quarters for discussion as he highlights the, the specific issue of dealing with an attack is an issue for the police and an operational matter. And, I shall definitely not stray onto the Chief Constable's territory there. What we do see is good work being done. I mean, for example, the, the District Policing and Compu uh, Community Safety Partnership in South Belfast recently ran an ending hate crime event. There is work being done training people in a variety of different areas around how we deal with that. The DOJ has responsibilities with the hate crime multi-agency group. Uh, we part fine, fund the um, the practical action scheme for deal with, dealing with the effects of hate crime, but the important issue is to stop it happening, and that involves the partnership working, and it also involves, frankly, political leadership being given in every quarter to ensure that people stand up collectively against those who would seek uh, to engage in hate crime of any kind. And of course, we should also acknowledge that there was an incident at St Anthony's Church in Willowfield uh, last night, which presumably was not racist hate crime, but was sectarian hate crime and it seems to be just another side of the same coin. Thank you, uh, Deputy Speaker, and thank you, Minister. Um, I, I want to, uh, as I ask my supplementary, I, I think it's important to pay tribute to uh, Anna Lowe, your representative in South Belfast, who's been the, borne the brunt of many of these racist attacks. But in terms of language and leadership from all of us in uh, in this House and in positions of civic leadership and of leadership in society, uh, can you assure the House that your department that you will stand four square behind those who give the type of leadership that a multicultural society uh, de de desires and demands? Well, I thank Mr. Mulya for his tribute to Anna Lowe, although I suppose the reality is we should not be asking Anna Lowe or others from ethnic minorities to be standing up against racist hate crime. We should be asking those who are from the majority community to stand up against such hate crime. Certainly, the, D I mean, the DOJ will continue to do the work because, for example, the community safety strategy includes elements which relate to hate crime and the, the wider issues of, you know, of partnership, particularly through PCSPs, through a variety of other issues, through seeing the agencies working better to tackle the reasons why you know, hate crime appears to rise. All of those are issues which need elements of research, need elements of partnership working, and need a united single voice from this community that hate crime will not be tolerated, and that this House and the wider community will show the leadership it should show against such crimes. Mr.